Hey, how's it going everybody? Long time no see. So I've been doing some experiments with a pretty cool peripheral called the NCO or numerically controlled oscillator. Just in case you're not familiar with this peripheral, I wanted to make a short video that can teach, explain, and enlighten you on the magnificence of the NCO just because I'm such a nice guy. Okay, okay, so maybe that's not the reason. I really just wanted to show you my cool experiments, but while I have your attention, I might as well explain what an NCO is and how it can be used for those who have never heard of it. The numerically controlled oscillator is way more than a sexy term that I throw out on dates to try to sound smart. It's also a 20-bit timer that has the ability to produce an output pulse each time a user-defined accumulator value overflows. When started, the NCO will count up to this user-defined accumulator value. Then, when the accumulator value has been reached, the output of the NCO will pulse. The NCO will then reset and begin counting again until this accumulator value has been reached again. And this will go on and on and on, on and, on and on and on until the NCO is stopped. Due to the fact that this timer has 20 bits of resolution, you can generate an output signal with a 50% duty cycle that has an extremely fine-tuned frequency. In many applications, having a reliable high-resolution output signal can be a critical requirement. One perfect example of this is the vibrating mesh nebulizer. Medical devices like the vibrating mesh nebulizer vibrate a piece of mesh at specific frequencies. Liquid medicine is then put onto a piece of this vibrating mesh and the liquid medicine is then transformed into vapor that can be inhaled by a patient. The tolerance of this vibration frequency that needs to be sent to this mesh is often very small. If you were to try to operate something like a vibrating mesh nebulizer with a low resolution PWM signal, there's a very good chance that the vibrating mesh can perform poorly and not properly vaporize the medicine. In fact, there's a chance that the frequency required to vaporize the medicine could be completely missed if the PWM signal resolution is too low. Therefore, in situations like this, where high resolution is needed, the numerically controlled oscillator with its 20 bits of cold, hard counting power is here to save the day. Hooray! Now that you have some information about why the NCO is so cool, let's see this baby in action. Where are my tools? I could have sworn I put them right here. Ah, here it is, right where I left it. In this experiment, I will be vibrating this piece of metal at different frequencies. These frequencies will cause the metal plate to resonate, which will cause the sand on the plate to make a shape. However, the resonant frequencies need to be extremely accurate or else the sand shapes will distort or not work at all. I'll be using the numerically controlled oscillator to achieve these high resolution frequencies that I need. Let's see what happens. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Hopefully you were able to learn a little bit more about the numerically controlled oscillator. If you'd like to get more information about the NCO or would like to learn more sexy terms to throw out on dates to sound smart, please view the links provided in the description below. I've also posted links to all of the components used in this experiment in the description as well. So if you decide to give this experiment a try on your own, record it and drop a link in the video comment section below so we can see what cool shapes you can produce. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button so that I can keep my job. Thanks again so much for viewing and see you next time.